Good day, my name is Brayden and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the F17 device. It's a lot like the F16, except for the fact that it obviously has buttons. It does have a card reader just down over here, fingerprint reader over here, and then we've got our main buttons for ID as well as numbers, our OK button, our navigation buttons, and our exit and menu buttons. So, to start things off with this device, we need to enroll an admin card. So we're going to press menu. We're going to say OK on user manage. We're then going to say enroll admin. And we're going to enroll an admin card. So it says register RFID, which is for an RFID card. We're going to change it to admin, say OK. We're going to say it's a new enroll. And we're going to put the code of 1, say OK. Now it asks for a card. I'm going to be using this card over here. And all we say is OK. And save. We're not going to continue for now. What I want to now show you is if we try and access the menu, it asks for an admin affirm, which is there. Now we can get in. So from here, where we can go to is we can then go to user manage. We can say enroll a user. We'll then go down to new user. Or sorry, we'll say register RFID card as well for this user specifically, new enroll and code two. Then we'll say okay. It will ask for us to show their card, not the admin card, but the card for that specific user, which is number two. That is enrolled. We'll say okay, and we'll save. We're going to then say escape, escape, and we're going to then go to enroll fingerprint and say OK. We're going to say it's a, it's not a new enroll because we've already got this user on here. So we're going to say escape. And the backup enroll is going to be number two for that same employee we just added. So for this, we're going to add my finger on here. One two, three times, and we're going to say OK to save over there. We're then going to escape out of here, and if I show you just in terms of getting into the menu, now we've got two people on here. We've got an admin and we've got a user. So if that user who's registered under number two tries to get in, it's going to deny. I'll show you again with the fingerprint as well. Denied again. But if that user wants to sign in and clock in, there they go. Now they successfully clocked in and still clocked in. So back into the menu just to show you the rest. That is pretty much all you need to know in terms of user manage. So just to show you once more in case, when you are enrolling a user, if the user is already on here, you press escape when it asks for new enroll because they're already on the device. If they're not on the device yet, you say OK. And then you just input the number that you wish for them. Please note that the enroll ID on here or the number associated with them on the device does need to match the number stating enroll ID on the Sabre software. That is so that they, that the device and the software can look at each other and can communicate with each other. So we're going out of there. We're going to go to options. We're going to go down to com options. Now we're going to go down to IP address. In IP address, that is where you will 
put in the IP pertaining to your specific range so that we can get the device to communicate with our software. The subnet mask, you usually can just use default. It's 255.255.255.0. And then your gateway, which also again pertains to your specific range and IP. Nothing else here that uh, pertains to this. Pen drive management, that is in the case of using a USB. And you'll find the USB port just over here on the back of the device. And essentially a mini USB port plugs into here, which you then plug a USB into. This little hole over here is for the reset, that is if you need to perform a device reset. The mini USB looks like so. It's just stuck at the moment. Mini USB looks like so. So it plugs in with this end over here. And essentially you can use this end to utilize a USB flash drive. And essentially what you can do through that is if you are having network troubles, you can download your you can download your log data through the flash drive or you could download employees through the flash drive and upload those employees to other devices like this um, I'm just going to show you that now quickly so you'll see in pen drive management you've got download at log, download users, upload users, and download SMS as well as upload SMS. You don't have to worry about the SMS part. It's just the download at logs, download users, and upload users. So if you were downloading at logs, essentially what you would be doing is you'd be downloading the actual attendance data on this device to see when people clocked in, etc. And then you could put that onto your software and see it through there. Downloading users downloads all the users off of here. They do still stay on the device, but it just downloads a copy of the current user files that you can then upload onto other devices uh, on the same firmware and firmware version. And essentially what it would do is it would create a clone of the current user data so that they can sign in on those devices as well. System info just tells you more about the device, but you don't need to worry about that. Uh, but otherwise, that's pretty much everything to do with the F17. It's a very simple device and very user-friendly. Thank you very much.